today I'm going to show you how to make poor man's filet mignon. Alright, we're going to start out, and always remember, wash your hands because you're messing with raw meat. So always wash your hands. First off, we're going to start with half of a chopped up white onion. That was a medium sized onion, by the way. And then you want one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Pinch of salt, and about half a teaspoon of pepper. All right, then you're going to Mix all this together real good, using your hands. Now I'm going to be using toothpicks today, and since they're going to be in the oven, what I did was put my toothpicks in water to soak them some. That way they can handle the heat a little better. You want to mix this up really good. Ooh, that's cold. Cold, 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 cold. Speaking of uh, poor men, I'll tell you how money-saving my grandmother was. We went to her house one day for dinner, and she decided she was going to cook us all hamburgers. Well, I was excited because she cooked hers in a skillet, not on a grill. But anyway, I mean, when she's cooking them, you could smell the meat all over the house. Oh, it smelled good. Well, when it was time to sit down for dinner, I took a big bite and all I tasted was lettuce. So I take the, the bun off and I see one little uh, slice of pickle and the rest was lettuce. And I said, uh, Grandma, did you forget the meat? Where's the meat? All I have is lettuce and pickles. She looked at me and she said, why don't you look under the pickle? Yeah. She had a way to save money, but I, I just thought that was so funny. Anyway, let's get this mess mixed up and quit talking so much. The only reason I'm kind of overworking it a little bit here is because of the salt. Getting the salt and pepper mixed in really, really well. All right. Now, I bought bacon, and I tried to get as wide a slices as I could, and I got uh, Corn King Applewood smoked bacon. So let's hope that works. So what you want to do, let me get this out of the way, is make a good sized patty. That was my, I preheating my oven to 400 degrees. You know, don't be cheap on it. Don't be my grandmother. Make it at least about an inch thick. Then what you want to do is take a strip of bacon and wrap the bacon around it. Like that, and then take a toothpick and go through it to hold your hold your bacon in place. Make sure you have kind of a deep pan because uh, this is bacon, so grease is going to be splattering everywhere. Now, if you're feeding a family of like six to eight. You might want to buy more hamburger. I'm using about maybe two pounds of ground beef. It's 
So if you're cooking for a larger family, you might want to get about four pounds. That one's not wrapping very well. Let's let's try a different piece here. These are so good. The uh, bacon flavor goes into your beef. And if you're like me, the price of meat today, you can't really afford filet mignon steaks. I guarantee you, you're going to like this a lot better than the regular filet mignon steaks. A lot more flavor, a lot more control over it, too. Now, I usually cook mine, uh, I usually give it about an hour, and then I go in and I take a fork or something and check the meat to see if the meat is done in the middle. If not, leave it in longer. Uh, now, I use a pan that I don't have to cover it with, and the reason I don't cover it is because I want the, the bacon and the outside of the meat to get crispy. So, I don't cover it. All right. And there you have it. We got uh, four good size ones. So as soon as I, I'm going to stick these in the oven for about an hour, and as, as soon as they're done, I'll bring you back. All right, guys, here it is, all done. Uh, so you want to remove your toothpicks. But there it is. So grab some May one steak sauce or whatever steak sauce you want to use. But this I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you try it. And if you do, I know you're gonna love it. Uh, if this is not the kind of videos you guys like to see me make, let me know, and I'll see what else I can do. But if you like these kind of videos, I'll keep doing these, among other things. You guys have a good day.